I'm going to quickly show you how to download and install Microsoft's Visual Studio 2022 IDE for programming on Windows, uh, C Sharp, Visual Basic, C, C++ and more. So first of all, go to the download site. Currently that's visualstudio.microsoft.com. If that should change in future, just Google it. Okay, so if you want Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code, which is a different piece of software. Uh, either the Community Edition, you can see that listed here, or else they might just call it Free Visual Studio, so you click that. And uh, Visual Studio Community, not Visual Studio Code, Free Download, start the download. Now, depending on which browser you're using, it'll either prompt you to save the setup file, or it'll automatically download it, and uh, you can then click the link to open it. You'll get one of these. Click yes, and the Visual Studio installer will start. And it's now going to start downloading additional uh, setup files. You'll now be prompted to install workloads. Well, what are workloads? That just means the languages that you want to program in and any tools that you might need to do that programming. Well, you'll certainly want to install .NET Desktop Development. That's going to let you program in C Sharp and Visual Basic and other languages for just ordinary applications on your PC. And if you follow any of my C Sharp courses, you are going to need that. Uh, personally, I will also install the C++ development. Not that I do C++ development, I do C development. But if you, again, if you plan to follow any of my C courses, you will need that. So I'm just going to install those two elements. There are other things here that you can install if you know you want them. Or you, if you forget to install them now, don't worry, you can install them later on. So now click the install button and off it goes. This is going to take quite some time. If you've got a, a slow internet connection, it could take a very long time indeed. Go and make some coffee, go and do some other work, read a book, whatever, come back later. Yeah, this really does take quite some time, especially if you're on a slow internet connection. When eventually the installation finishes, Visual Studio will either auto-launch if you had that option checked, or you can run it from the Windows Start menu and you're ready to create a new project. And depending on which languages you've selected, you will have C or C Sharp or whatever. And um, let's create a C Sharp console app. So I'm ready to go and starting my first program.